Welcome back to TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus most definitely comes first. This once again is Chapman and he teaches you the unchangeable word of God. Listen to this theme song and you'll know. It's me. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. It's one of those things where I just love to do is come back with you live on the show. Today is today is a special day. Today is a very special day because today is worship. Today is not worship Saturday. Sorry about that. Almost the worship Tuesdays too. That deserves a laugh track. <laughs> but today is indeed a very, very special day because today is outside of the classroom Wednesdays. Again, guys, welcome to this episode of Outside of the Classroom Wednesdays. How are you all doing? Again this week, I speak with you three times a week, Monday, Saturday, and Wednesday. And I love doing it. Love it with all my heart. You guys are great. You guys are fabulous listeners. I want to give you guys a round of applause for tuning in again to Outside of Classroom Wednesdays and just tuning in to the podcast. Because without you guys, I would not be able to do this. I remember the day, and I told this to my wife. I remember the day when I first had my first 15 listeners. I was so super excited. So super excited. And then, uh, and then it finally happened. I got more than 15 listeners. I started getting a lot more listeners. I even got a new follow on Instagram. Don't know who this is. Stargazing Project. I have no clue who they are. Games, toys, create your very own galaxy. Uh, Stargazersproject.com. I know worried about that at all. But with that being said, I love I love talking with you guys. You guys are phenomenal. You're a phenomenal group. So, with that being said, guys, let's do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. Let's try to get this taken care of here. Let's go into, let me see here. No, I don't want to do that. Let's do this for now. Let's do this. Let's go into my profile on Instagram. We got a I got to look at my notifications for Swag Attire. Again, we have the store up. I am doing next the next part of my uh sports team collection, I call it, which is my team Jesus. Feel free to uh Check the store out. Again, that's Swag Attire. And go to teesprings.com forward slash. Let me make sure I got this right. Let me get into my Google for just a second here. Teesprings.com. Okay, let me get into this just to make sure I got this absolutely 100% right. Because I don't want to give you guys the wrong information and then... You guys go to something that's not even me. Let's go into my. Let's go into here. Listings. Okay, here we are in the listings. Naturally, let's go to the store. There we are. We got our own store for. For the podcast, for TJF, I'll be learning how to put links into the the Spreaker itself. And anytime we talk about this, it will load up the link that you click straight onto the store itself. And I do got a shorter link that I will post to the actual 
Spreaker itself. I got a shorter bit.ly link. So it's Swag Dash Attire. Well, that's the name of the store, Swag Attire. <clears throat> so the name of the store is Swag Attire. I don't know what that means, but. We'll Um, let me find, okay, why are we having issues here? View store. Okay, let me get out of here. I got the store lane, store name in my phone here. So let me go to my phone. It'll be easier to get into here. And that's spelled S W A S W A G Swag Attire. A T T I R E S W A G Okay, there's two different links you can go to. I mean, the other one's shorter, but go to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash swag dash attire. That's teesprings, T-E-E-S-P-R-I-N-G dot C-O-M forward slash stores, S-T-O-R-E-S forward slash swag, S-W-A-G dash A-T-T-I-R-E. I mean, it's teesprings.com forward slash stores, forward slash swag attire. Or you can go to our, our new link, which is bit.ly, that's B-I-T dot L-Y, forward slash swag, S-W-A-G, A-T-T-I-R-E. Again, this is bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, forward slash swag, S-W-A-G, attire, A-T-T-I-R-E. So bit.ly, forward slash swag attire. And that takes you to my store as well, and it should open right up. Let me make sure of that. Bit.ly forward slash swag attire. And we load that right up. bit.ly forward slash S-W-A-G A-T-T-I-R-E Hmm, it didn't work on the actual computer. But it did work on the phone. I clicked on it. It did, did the... It takes you right to the store. So on the phone it works. So let me try this one last time. Just to make sure you guys got this right, it's b i t dot l y forward slash s w a g a t t i r e. On just for a minute, guys. S W A G. There we go. The S W A G has to be capital. So again, that's B I T dot L Y forward slash S W A G all capitals A T T I R E all lowercase. So swag is capital. And the rest is lowercase. So that's bit.ly. That's bit.ly forward slash S-W-A-G, all capital, A-T-T-I-R-E, all lowercase. Swag attire. So go ahead and take the plunge in Jesus at Swag Attire. Where you can get not just, you know, some cool things, but cool things that also help you witness the love of God to everyone else. So... Go ahead, get your get your swag on, and go to Swag Attire, where you can not only utilize that to 
wear and look stylish with the new gear, but you can also use it to witness, to witness to the world of Jesus. And we are starting our new, our newest of newest uh, a collection on there. I call it, I call it a collection, but more like a design. It is my sports team collection. Now, I can't do exact of sports teams. Like I can't take the Detroit Lions logo or the state logo of the Martian and put it on there or nothing like that. But I got the green and white helmets. I got the orange and brown for the Cleveland Browns. I've got the the silver and blue for Detroit Lions. I've got the maize and blue for the uh, the the Michigan team from Michigan in Michigan states. The green and white. And I'm going to do a couple more. I might be doing like the Steelers or something. Their colors. I can't specifically put their names in there. Like I can't put, you know, Detroit, Michigan, or State, or Cleveland Browns, or, you know, whatever the case is. I can't put those names in there, but I can at least put the, the words Sports Team Collection. So... But I have it under the title of Team Jesus Collection. So it's under Team Jesus. And it's one of my cool cool little designs because right on the actual design it says in big bold letters in the colors of each sports team. <coughs> For example, Detroit would be silver and blue. So the first word's in silver. Which states team. The second word. Is in blue. The third word's in silver. And the fourth word's in blue. So team and Jesus are on the top and bottom. So team is in silver. Jesus is in blue. But the silver is underlined in blue. And the blue is underlined in silver. And then in the middle of team and Jesus. You got John 3.16. So the silver of John 3.16's underlined or highlighted in blue, underlined in blue, and then the blue is underlined in silver. So it looks like they're team colors. And then you got four helmets on the top, two on top, two on the bottom that looks like the colors and the design of their helmets, except for all their insignia is not on there. There's nothing really actually uh, displaying the actual team itself. It doesn't have any significant of lions or whatnot. It's just their colors. Just so you can have something cool. And still witness Jesus to the world. So it's TGIF's new uh, sports team collection. Where you can get that on not just a shirt. But you can get that on a mug. You can be able to get that on your a fleece blanket if you'd like to. There's a lot of stuff that you can get. In there, so go to my bit.ly link, which is bit.ly forward slash swag, all capital letters, attire a t t i r e. Again, it's bit.ly forward slash swag, all capital letters, attire a t t i r e. So go to that link and see what we got going on in the store. And if you feel like you want to choose through a few things or you don't have to, but see what we got. Check us out. See what we got going on because it's an exciting thing for not just us, but for you guys. So you guys can go witness to the world of Jesus. And it's easy to wear a shirt that represents Jesus. You know, if you if you wear a shirt like like I'm describing or my uh, He Is Good collection, or I got a... Uh, and the front says he is good. On the back says all the time. We got our designated worshiper collection. So when you wear these type of things, it brings conversation to something like, what do you mean by designated worshiper? Or what do you mean by he is good? Who's good? You know, so it gives them the idea or fed up. Let Jesus take over. First Peter uh, 5, 7, I think it is. And it says, uh, with all... Be anxious about nothing with prayer and supplication. Let your requests be known, be made known to God, for he cares for you. So.